Welcome to episode 7 of the Predator Chronicles, and I, I have some shit to talk. When the pedos come a-knocking, there's only two men who can stop them. Starring pedal slayer Chris Hansen and your host, Mr. Gigi. These are the Predator Chronicles. Let's get my shit talking out of the way so we can move on to the episode. As far as I know, Hansen vs Predator is not guaranteed a second investigation. Now I would think if Hansen vs Predator does really well, then they would fund another investigation. Would he go back to Kickstarter? I don't know, honestly. Even with all that, there is one huge downfall with the show, and that is a lack of communication. There's a huge gap between the audience and the show. The only website Hanson vs Predator has is the Kickstarter site that explains everything. The YouTube channel Crime Watch Daily has no type of fucking schedule for the Hanson vs Predator content. And the only other means of communication is the Facebook page for Hanson vs Predator. And the Facebook page gives us nothing. You scroll down the Facebook page, you start looking at posts, you see a lot of questions. You see a lot of complaints. You see a lot of people asking, when's the next show gonna come out? When's the next segment coming out? The shadiest part, a bunch of people have been complaining that they haven't even received their Kickstarter benefits. You cannot alienate your fans, especially when a good handful of them are your monetary supporters for the show. And I think it might be already too late to fix this problem. If Hanson vs Predator is depending on success and fan reaction, this show won't make it because people will stop giving a fuck. Why don't you have a seat? The first two Predators we're gonna take on actually have something in common. They both don't go into the Sting House, but they are still caught by the law. Michael Popovich. He's married. He's a former Marine. Just looks like he'll strangle anybody who talks shit about him. David Tirio. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll make fun of this guy. Michael Popovich. I'm really in a hot mood today. I hope you are too. This guy actually ducked out during his 30th wedding anniversary to call our decoy. I think I would probably keep you naked the entire time I was there. And you might not have a choice. I really want to you there. He sent sexually explicit- So this picture right here, this is your sexy photo? This is the one you took and you were like, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's just it right there. Can somebody please tell M. Bison to stop skipping biceps? What the fuck is your torso? Y you look like I should throw you in defense mode. I want you to slide a hand into my PJ bottoms. Yes, sir. You have me and you are mine. I love that. You don't mind being owned? Pop of it. You see these pictures here that are blurred out? I'm blurring them out because they're not blurred out in the episode. If I'm not mistaken, those are pictures of the decoy. Now somebody is getting fired because they left that shit in the show. Even though it's a small little tidbit, you should be protecting these girls' identities at all costs. I love that you want to be bound and restrained, my hot little slave princess. Hot little slave princess. Hot little slave princess. <laughs> After two months, Popovich broke it off. I'm sorry, but you're 13, and it's wrong for me, and by the way, very illegal. You can always call me daddy. Can you still call me baby girl? Little flipper! Nobody got that reference. If somebody actually does get that reference, we're homies for life. So he ends up not showing up to the house, but they end up catching his ass anyways. 20 years suspended after serving 10. Don't look at me like that, Poppy Povich. I didn't do anything wrong. I cause him like I sees him. Our next predator in line is David Tiriolo. This guy's kind of weird. Cause... David, and I am suffering from hair loss since I was 12 years old. I'm 30 years old and I feel and look like I'm 50. For years, people have bullied me over having a bald head, as you can see. I'm looking to raise money to get a hair transplant. Please help me. I just want to live a normal, healthy life and be able to come out of the house and maybe one day have a girlfriend. Thank you. He talks about wanting to have a girlfriend, but like he has a daughter. I don't like they don't really go into that. I mean, clearly your baldness didn't scare everyone away. Someone let you ejaculate inside of them and stuck around. Even though I kind of feel for this guy, heed my warning. Don't you ever, ever trust a guy with this pose. And I don't mean mirror pics. Mirror pics are perfectly fine, but you're not smiling, just dead eyes, phone far shit from your face, and you're just. If he DMs you talking about. Hey, pretty lady. I'm 13, not 26, LOL. Damn, I shouldn't be talking to you, LOL. I'm definitely not some pedophile weirdo. Tell me what you want and we can do it. I don't know. You're the guy. You're supposed to decide. Sexism. 
disgusting. You're the guy you're supposed to decide. Whatever happened to equality? Whatever happened to the bit of bit of D, the milkman, the paper boy? Dinner, bowling, club, casino. This guy's supposed to have like shitty self-esteem and a huge insecurity with his baldness, but he's talking about going to the club? If you have shitty self-esteem, what are you gonna do at the club? You gonna, you gonna just, you gonna just fucking... <laughs> Song's pretty tight, right? You know how to dab? I can get 10 years by just hanging with a kid. You're full of blank. I hang out with my dad's friends all the time. No one is in jail and I don't joke. Are you a cop or affiliated with police? I'm just a super adventurous teenager that loves bald men. Psh, am I a cop? No. Jeez, I really hope that last joke made at least one person laugh because because I, I really didn't want to tear that off the head. Oh, fuck you. Huh? Good as new. Tiriolo arrives. Rain is pouring down. Our on-site decoy peeks out the front door. Tiriolo sees her and chickens out. I think fucking everybody would turn around if this is the first face they see. This terrified little girl beak her head out. And I kept thinking, I'm like, I'm gonna be that dude that walks in this house. I'm gonna be that NBC guy. I don't wanna be that some pedophile walks in with the Dunkin' Donuts munchkins and the six pack. I watch these shows, I'm like, the, the, the guys disgust me. I'm like, pieces. of be castrated and it's like Curiolo claims he never intended to sleep with a girl and he tells cops his secret reason why sex was never on the agenda I'll tell you right now I can't have sex because my my thing don't get up for my medication God's honest truth call my doctor that's an interesting defense honestly erectile dysfunction haven't heard that one before now I have my own opinion on the whole erectile dysfunction defense thing but I actually want to know what you guys think so I want you to comment below what you think about him using ED as a defense David only gets a 10-year suspended sentence because, because he, was he was never overtly, overtly sexual. sexual but things are about to switch up with our final pedo Jeff Sokol Jeff just goes balls in because he asks this girl everything he doesn't hold back he doesn't give a shit do you have pretty feet lol yeah I don't have homeless feet do you have pretty feet no I don't I don't have homeless feet so where do you lie on the spectrum? There's a big fucking gap between homeless feet and pretty feet. I honestly don't know why, but a lot of the Hanson vs. Predator guys just send selfies up the ass. Getting pissed about plumber. I mean, I've been out the game for a while, but... Did I miss something? Do you think blank size matters? Nope, X was decent. I'm not that big, but I know how to satisfy a girl. So Jeff's a bit smarter than most pedos, kinda. But he asks the decoy to take a specific picture. Catfish 101. And the decoy actually sends it. Tetrad core is on another level. I still don't get how they work. They have to have this plethora of underage girls on speed dial ready to take whatever picture they need. Like I get the purpose, but it's still just weird. It's weird. In fact, dinner is delayed. Sokol is late because he says his pipes sprung a leak. That's not the only pipe that's about to spring a leak. You know what I'm saying. Sokol arrives at the house. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student, lets him in the door. Hey Johnny, uh, this door's like really squeaky, dude. You got like some WD-40? How much is WD-40? It's pretty cheap. It's like five bucks. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not in the budget. That's a long drive. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you're gonna give me a hug? No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. This guy has only seen the Tetrad decoy that they've been sending him. This is a completely different 19-year-old uh, theater student. Are you telling me that they look so damn similar? that none of the predators ever question it? Really? Okay. There's plates right behind. So like, so like the, um, the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one. So I didn't, I didn't know that. Like you said small, I thought it would be like a really small one. Her face is everyone's face that's watching this right now. What the fuck are you talking about? It's like the same price, so why even get a small pizza if I'm gonna get the big pizza? So uh, pizza size doesn't matter. Let's deal with this whole contract thing, because I'm just going to be thinking about it the whole time. Until we get that out of the way. Next, the contract. 
You'll be shocked when you learn what it's about. And my bizarre- Individuals are innocent until proven guilty. I see lawyers are all up in that ass, huh, Chris? Jeff Sokol, unfortunately for him, this pizza chomping suspect is about to get a bad case of indigestion, courtesy of yours truly. Chris is one of the few people that can get away with saying really dumb shit just, just like that. Just like the thing we just heard. Jeff Sokol thinks he's going to scarf down some pepperoni pizza with a 13-year-old girl he just met online. But tonight, he apparently has a different kind of topping in mind. Different kind of topping. Different kind of different kind of different kind of topping in mind. Different kind of topping. Different kind of topping in mind. I mean, you look great. Thanks. You just look different than what I than like in the pictures. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I don't know. I expected you to have dark hair. Did you? My hair just it lightens up in the summer. And no, I'm not saying. I mean, you look great. She played that off very well. That is uh, that is that is a bravo for the decoy handling uh, under pressure situation very well. Thankfully, she didn't say something stupid like, "Oh, I mean, my whole family has lighter hair." You know, me, my mommy, and my daddy. Sokol talks about a marriage contract and even suggests they elope. The only thing that can prevent me from getting arrested is if we got married. LOL. If you were married to me right now, that I wouldn't be breaking the law. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want me to check? Somebody here? No. What kind of pizza do we have tonight? Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who are you? You tell me first. My name is Jeff. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. That is the pedal slogan. That is it right there. Hanging out. That's it. That's what every fucking pedal says. What are you doing? Hanging out. What did you expect to happen? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever? No. So you drove two and a half hours? I sure did. From Boston. <sighs> Who are you? To come here. Are you her dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you her dad? I will get to that in a minute. Uh -huh. Go ahead, have a bite. Chris is about to drop the hottest zinger of 2017. Sokol probably should have brought napkins. Damn. Dude. I haven't done anything wrong. Coming to meet somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that Coming to meet a young girl? Yeah, is that against the law? It is after this chat. How? Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? Okay. <laughs> Let's see if any of this sounds familiar while you enjoy your pizza. I have a very mild case of misophonia. It's when you don't like specific sounds. Me personally, I hate hearing people chew. And this whole interview, I just keep hearing Jeff Sokol. Now you know that this girl is 13, right? I wasn't sure. She's told you. Just wanted to come hang out and... It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Okay, is there is that against the law to like... To, to have sex with a 13-year-old girl when you're 44? Yes, no, it's against meet, the law. To meet, to meet a girl. That's all I've done. Hey, Jeff. Sick faux hawk, bro. You talk about a plan to make it legal. To marry her. I didn't mind Jeff that much at first, but as the interview goes on, I started hating him more and more. One, because he keeps fucking eating the pizza. When he's chewing, I just want to punch him in his fucking, his 50 shades of gray beard that he fucking has. Number two, these are the worst types of predators. They see nothing wrong with what they're doing. So then you're marrying a 13 year old girl, because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. Love has no age. Can you please tell me who you are? I'll tell you. I'm, try, I'm trying to be nice here. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, so am I. But I, you're not answering all my questions. I will. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Chris Hansen. Chris loves when people don't know who he is. He loves and hates it because Chris has an ego. There's a comment I read on an older video where it's like, uh, basically the comment was like, I'm Chris Hansen. I'm Chris Hansen. <laughs> I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm, I can, you can leave. I'm gonna shut it off. I cannot shut it off. No. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good. Thank you very much. It's very good. You guys. So the cops here? 
Isn't that all speculation? I mean, I mean it's what's like, the speculation? I'm looking at this you're thing. Spe- it's like, you're speculating that I was going to have sex with her tonight. Because that's what you said. I didn't say that. You didn't say that? Well, no. well, tell me what you said. Well, we talked about having sex, but that doesn't mean... Isn't that, that, but isn't that strange? That doesn't mean I was going to. Tonight. Let me make this very clear. I hate Mike Manzi. But this guy, Jeff Sokol, is giving him a run for his money. What's the deal with the marriage certificate? What was that whole conversation? I was just explaining to her that people can get married by just signing a contract. But, you know, signing, you know, marriage do- documents. I... So, but you're talking about a 12-year-old girl, right? And it's kind of... Yeah, okay. I think you could, you could 14, probably even understand. 14, but yeah, she said she was 14. But okay. She was 14? I know. It's young. But we're talking like 12 years old. Wait, are, are those slippers? There's Crocs? Are those Jumanji shoes? What is that? What are you wearing? What What the fuck are you actually wearing? That's like 6th, 7th grade. You know what I mean? It's, I a, it's a young human being. You keep saying 12. Well, you, you want me to use your term and say 14? I, I mean, I know that's the, both young, but it's a little bit, yeah, different. So you're gonna you're gonna marry a 13 year old girl with her mother's permission? Maybe when maybe maybe when she's 16, I would do that. How's that? Why is that like so hard to believe? You're 44. Jeff won. Jeff won. Jeff won. You happy, Mike? Are you happy, Mike? Now you can go fuck off and do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Whatever the fuck you do, okay? Jeff, fuck you. And that's actually gonna be the end of episode seven of the Predator Chronicles. I believe there's only two more Predators left in the Hanson vs. Predator investigation that we have not covered. Leave it a like if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Thank you for watching, and a quick note to anybody who's a fan of the series. I'm already late on this episode, but I'm gonna be spacing out the Chronicles a little more. I I don't wanna lose my motivation when doing the Chronicles. I don't want to become stale. But either way, I'm going to make a little poll to see what investigation I should hit next. I might link off to a poll, or if YouTube lets me do a poll, I'll do that instead. So I want you guys to vote on what investigation I should do next. Shout out to Fred Santa. Fred Santa? Fuck, I hope that's your name. Shout out to Fred Santa uh, from Puerto Rico. He's a fan of the Predator Chronicles. Shout out to you, uh, PR. Hey, I don't I'm so culturally ignorant. I don't know anything. If you're new to the Predator Chronicles and you haven't seen the last episodes, I'll leave a playlist at the end of the video. Or even if you want to rewatch them, I'll leave the playlist at the end of the video. As always, I am your host, Mr. GG, the Pedal Slayer Chris Hansen. We'll see you in the next investigation. You might as well just tell me because I can find out like that. Dinner, bowling, club, casino. Dinner, bowling, club, casino. Dinner. And we you can always call me dead. You can always call me dead. You can always call me dead. Sokol probably should have brought napkins. Thing don't get up on my doctor. Thing don't get up on my doctor. You got a slice? You got booze? You got booze?